it's Ashley and I'm back with another video and this is going to be the second part of the video um, on my review of food and servers <laughs> food and drama serving as an easy this was the book that I talked about um, by my friend Carmen that recently was published in the first part, I talked about me interviewing her and her thoughts on her uh, the process, her thought process, how she came up with the, the idea, and um, having her talk a little bit more, more about herself. And I will leave a link for that somewhere. I think it pops up over here. It'll pop up if you want to see that video. So in this video, I'm just going to be talking about the actual contents of the book and the things in it that I found to be so relatable to. But the book, I, f I finished the book and these are like all the things, these are like all, well you can probably see from here, all the pages I bent back are all <laughs> the ones that I wanted to talk about. and. I didn't think it would be that many and when I first interviewed her before my book came in the mail I'm like oh hey is it okay if I talk about one or two things because I'm like she might not like be comfortable with me sharing so many things uh, and she's like oh yeah it's fine and when I got it as you could tell I ended up liking a lot of the little tips and uh, tidbits that she left in the that she included in the book um, the book was totally different from what I had in mind when I, um, first like opened it up and read it and looked through it. And it's not, I thought it would be like a story story, like a basic novel. And it's more like tips, tricks, tidbits that you should, um, think about um, internalize when you make the decision to go out to eat or when you decide to get a job or make your career um, food service. When I was thinking about it, because I was like, you know what would be a really good idea? If people use this book or they just had it in their restaurants when it's busy. You know, because you know, um, I used to work at Bob Evans. Should I say that? I guess it doesn't matter because I don't work there anymore. But I used to work at Bob Evans and they had books or newspapers and things like that for you to read while you're waiting for your table to get called. And I was like, that, this book would be a great addition to places that have reading material or games or stuff to keep the customers occupied while they're waiting to get sat because we hope that when we're waiting for a table, it doesn't take that long, but you know, sometimes you can't help it. The place is busy. The, the waiting time is the waiting time. You either stay and wait or you go find somewhere else that's less busy. So I believe I talked about the contents and it's all broken down into let's see, 13 different uh, chapters. Uh, the first one being the customer is always right. Customers, servers hate it when. Parent 101, parenting 101 while dining out. Golden rules, server slash waitress, bus boys, managers, cooks, dishwashers, the same old jokes and stupid requests, and carry out orders. And the inside of the book looks like this, like there's a cup of coffee. Usually almost on every page there's one. And then at the top it looks like this which uh, if you've been a server, if you write down your orders, 
that's kind of like what it looks like or if you use a POS system that's um, usually the format that it'll have when you go to put in the orders. So I am, I think I'm going to do, talk about, there's a lot of pages in here that I folded over. I think I'm going to talk about or read um, six different things from randomly from whatever chapter. Since I can't decide which ones I want to talk about, uh, I'm just going to flip to a random page and go from the story by then and then read the story it uh, lands on. Oh, I'm not looking. Okay, so this one. Don't tip badly if there's something wrong with your food. If it's burnt, overcooked, undercooked, or hard or too soft. The server did not prepare the meal, okay? Don't tip poorly on what the cook did. If you had a horrible experience with the hostess or if the busboy poured coffee in your lap, don't blame the server. The server shouldn't be held responsible for what's out of their control. Tip. Tip the server based on the service they give you. I've had it happen a couple of times where I had somebody, woman, argue with my boss, I remember, because she got sauteed mushrooms on her steak and she said that they look burnt. Now, if you've ever sauteed mushrooms, they're dark. And she argued my manager down about this. And I remember I was like, I thought it was, I was like, when it happened, I was like, really, bitch? She was adamant that these mushrooms didn't look right. And she, I don't remember what happened, but I was like, wow. Okay. It, she was with somebody else. And I think the person she was with left a good tip and she left like two or three dollars. Like it was my fault. Like it says on the menu, there's even a picture of what the mushrooms are going to look like and you're going to complain when it comes out looking like what the picture says. I don't get it. You're trying to get out of some shit. You're trying to get a free meal. I don't know. I don't know. Bend that page up so I don't get it again. And... Mm. Here's a good one. Servers. It is never okay to keep giving yourself extra tables when no one is looking. Then you overwhelm yourself and have the audacity to ask someone if they can help. Rotate and stop being greedy. <sighs> Preach. You go and you wait at the door like a hawk. And then you keep taking people to your section to make sure it's full. And then since you done poached everybody while I'm doing whatever I can do for what my side work is. While I'm waiting to get a table, not paying attention. And now you want to ask me for help after you took a, how many other tables that could have been mine? Just because you think whatever bills you have to pay are more important than me? What? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm not going to help you. You can do that shit yourself because guess what? You did that to yourself. <laughs> bent it up already. Go, let's go. Mm. Okay. Don't interrupt a server's attempt to take your order by taking a phone call or being distracted while texting. Then when you politely walk away and stay gone for 10 minutes, now they're upset. They are not working around your time, your schedule, or your calls. Servers know how to be petty. Don't give them a reason to be. This happens in customer service too. I hate it. I hate it. And it was so easy to just walk away when you're a server. 
but with my job I'm like on the phone so when somebody says you keep telling somebody hello you can say hello for a couple of minutes I like punch I push the buttons on the phone <laughs> cuz I'm like I'm here I know you were on hold but I'm I'm here now come on what do you need and they don't answer or they you can hear them having a conversation with somebody or you're on a three-way call you're like what <laughs> I can't hear you first of all so what do you need write down what do you need from whatever that person's calling for and then get them off the phone because guess what they're driving around with their windows down and I'm trying to hear you and all I hear is the wind so who Who is this benefiting? None of us. <laughs> Be prepared. Or just say, hey, I need a few minutes. Because guess what? The world doesn't revolve around you. You got other shit they could be doing. Instead of sitting there waiting for you like your Prince of Persia, the Queen of England. Nobody's that important. All right. <laughs> On to the next one. This one. Ooh -wee. <laughs> to all servers, listen up and listen well. When the restaurant is busy and you see everybody running around trying to get their tables what they need, quit asking another server for help. They are just as busy as you are. 10 times out of 10, the answer will be no. So don't ask. Go get the manager sitting in the office doing nothing. Nothing. I said nothing. <laughs> My manager at Bob Evans used to do this all the time. There were like three managers there. The one I love to death. The one she was uh she was all right like I wasn't really close with her she tried to get smart with me once I checked her ass and she left me alone and then the other one he was just lazy all he did was eat food all day scratch his balls and sit in the office and eat when we're busy when the other two managers when they knew it was rush time they would either uh, help run food um, get drinks for your tables or help the hostess check cash people out like they were doing their job not this guy <laughs> and that reminds me of him all the time because whenever I would go I remember every time I would go to get my run my food or not my food run my dishes back to the dishwasher and I would like walk around to go back come back to the front of the building of the restaurant you would always see him in there eating food not doing anything he's supposed to be doing but I heard he eventually got fired but he's the reason he's the main reason why I quit working there all right what's that we on for I don't know I haven't been keeping track okay this one it's a story time. The story time ones are written on a notepad. One day while at work, I was having, I was waiting on this gentleman who was adamant about having his eggs over medium. Once he finished placing his order, he said, you better make sure my eggs are over medium. Otherwise, otherwise I'm going to throw them back in your face. I said, sir, try it if you want. And I will throw these same eggs right back in your face. We will have a food fight. The lady that was with him looked at me in such a shocked way as if she was taken aback by what I said to him. I was taken by what he, I was taken back by what he said to me. What makes a person think they have the right to speak to another person in this manner? Don't give what you can't take. If you can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen. 
Word. Like, do you know how much power I have over making sure those eggs come over medium? Come out over medium? Making sure I put the order in right. Hmm? If I'm not there to check to make sure they're over medium before the food gets run out to you and somebody else takes it out for me, are you going to throw the eggs in their face too? Hmm? When it might have just been the cook's fault? Or maybe I did put it in wrong? Hmm? You going to fight me for making a mistake? For being human? You going to do that? Okay. And you doing it first, that's assault, sir. You really really kind of go there you really want to get a cops called on you for that I don't think it's worth it for eggs for eggs don't do it it's stupid just politely you let the server know when they place your food down in front of you because usually you say before you leave does everything look right does everything look okay and then that's when you'll be like, oh, hey, sorry, I wanted these over medium and it doesn't look like they are. And like, oh, and we can handle this in a civilized manner. Not like little high schoolers who have a food fight. And the person and the wife being shocked. <laughs> really? You expect somebody to just take your husband being a complete and utter asshole piece of shit to them? a boyfriend no. that's not how it works oh, we landed on another story time okay oh oh I meant to forgot to mention which chapter these are from this one's server server slash waitress okay story time it was Thanksgiving time and the restaurant I was working in decided to be open for a few hours. The company didn't want to pressure anyone to work on the holiday, so they had people sign up and volunteer instead. I was one of the servers who came in and at some point our town's newspaper came in to document what was going on in our restaurant. The newspaper interviewed me and asked why I decided to work on Thanksgiving Day. I told them some people don't have family, some people don't know how to cook, and they don't want to be alone so they go out to eat and on days like this we get to treat our customers like guests in our own home and some of them like family the next day i looked in the newspaper and there i was my interview had made the paper not the front page but it made me feel good that i was there to make a difference that one's just really sweet and that does feel good especially when you work on holidays where people are usually meet up with their families it feels good that you got to keep somebody company. This one. Wait, let me check. Here it is. This one's under carry out orders. Ian. Sometimes the tips are like this in the book but that says when you're calling in a carryout order and the server picks up the phone saying how can I help you don't reply you can take my order <laughs> once you communicate what you need from them they'll be happy to assist you but they don't need you to tell them what they can do Einstein <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> yeah that's just rude I don't have much else to say about that. Oh, this one. Under customers. Customers. Don't joke about a server's tip. For you as the customer to make a commitment and say, maybe you don't deserve a tip or anything along those lines, it's never cool. It's not a funny subject matter and servers don't play about their money correction. There is no person in the world who plays about their money.
Can you disagree with this statement? I cannot. And I agree. <laughs> Do one more. <laughs> this one's also under customers. Let me stop to say that there are customers that make a server's day each time they see them. They are greatly appreciated. They give servers great laughs, great stories, positive vibes, and you guessed it, great tips. And you know what? I'm happy that's the last one. And I ended it on a positive note. But there's still like all these other great little tidbits that are in here. And this is like a cute um, coffee table book as well besides like 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 I mentioned like places that have reading material <clears throat> for people waiting to be to be sat I'd say pick this up Carmen did a great job um, I like seeing my friends achieve things uh, achieve goals or do something great um, so I will leave a link to this on Amazon or a link to this from Amazon where um, you can pick it up and yeah I hope you enjoyed the video I hope uh, you go check out Carmen's page or her book let me know what you think about the stories that I read and what are your experiences in working in customer service or food service and I will see you in the next video. Bye. If you want me to get close to you, just tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. If you want me to take over, just give me the green light. Just give me the green light.